years old yet. So you can't sit in front. <sighs> You are not 12 years old yet. You can't so, sit in front. People cannot even tell me, Mommy, bye bye. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye, Mommy. I wish I had a teacher like this when mommy, I was much we'll, younger. We'll, we'll see you soon. <laughs> At least uh, life would have been. Bye, darling. Maybe I would have loved some courses very well. Is that your children was close to being 12 years old? Close to being 12 years old. Eh? At how eight, old are you? Eight. Nine, eight. 10, 11, 12. That's how many years time? <laughs> Nine, 12. Who is in? Their lesson teacher's house. Good. And we're going to have fun while learning today. Lesson starts by 10, right? But before then, breakfast. How's your breakfast, guys? It's fine, right? Okay. All right. So immediately after breakfast, we clear the table, right? And then we do some dishes, right? After doing the dishes, we now set it down for math lessons. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Have fun, guys. All right. All right. Penel is doing the dishes. Right? Yes. Once you're done, you put it here. Beautiful. Cup. Yeah, be careful with that so it doesn't drop. Oh, that's my girl. Yeah, that's good. Oh, thank you. Good girl. It's Samuel's turn to do the dishes. Okay. Okay, rinse it well. That's enough. Uh So you can rinse now. Drop the sponge. Mm-hmm. Wait your turn, Daniel. Thank you. Yeah, you drop it here when you're done. Okay, that's good. Rinse it, please. 
Who are those ransacking my fridge? See this Are you done? Beautiful. It's Salem's turn. Salem is doing the dishes. Okay. Yeah. You wash the back as well. Of the cup, wash the back. Yes. Flip it over. You can throw the water away. Throw the water away. Yes. So wash it properly. Mm hmm. That's my boy. Okay. Yeah. So is it clean? So you can rinse it now. No, you need to rinse it. Yes. Put your hand in it and rinse it properly. Yes. Then you flip it over and rinse the back of the cup. Oh, that's my boy. Okay. So is it clean? Drop his hair. Once you're done, you drop his hair. Yes. Now you go to the spoon. Wash the spoon. Make sure you use the sponge. Yes. That's my boy. I'm proud of you, Salem. You didn't say thank you to Mrs. Ayani. Beautiful. Yeah. Salem, one sticker for you. This for being good children when you came to Mrs. Ayani's house. Big dreams. Nice. Now, you know you're entitled to two, two stickers, right? So we've gone all round one. So we're going to choose the second one now. So, Penel, your turn. Yeah. Samuel, your turn. Ooh. Daniel, your turn. And the last one, but not the least, Salem, your turn. Beautiful. So, how do you like your stickers? Do you like them? Yes. You like them? So tell me why you like your stickers, Penel. Apple blue one. I like my stickers because there are colors on them. There are colors on them, so they are colorful, right? Yes. Yes, what about you, Summer? Because it's beautiful. Bye bye. It's so you're not going to tell me why you like your stickers, Samuel, uh, Salem. Okay, so Sam Samuel, because they're beautiful, right? I have. Daniel, why do you like your stickers? He has wonderful pictures. Good. All right. Um, Salem, do you want to tell Mrs. Aini why you like your stickers? Do you? So why do you like your stickers? Let me see your mouth. Tell me, why do you like them? Shh, I need to hear. Because what? Because you had fun in Mrs. Ayani's house. Oh, that's so good. And these stickers are made by one of my wonderful students. Her name is Kayla. She made them. Made them. She's in grade five. And she made them. I bought from her so I can give my wonderful students. Right? So thank you for being so good in my house. Is that okay? So what do you say to Mrs. Ayani, guys? Thank you. You're welcome.